congratulations for receiving this proclamation. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Susan. I have been in Rochester two years. Um, I moved here from Chicago. I don't own a car. I've got two winters under my belt now without a car. Um, I get around by bicycle most of the time, otherwise bus. Um, and I walk. I work part-time in retail. And so in the rest of my time, I volunteer for events like this, bicycle um, advocacy. And then I travel a little, and I'm with the course. Wow. So why do you decide not to own a car? I gave my car away eight years ago. I just was not ever using it. It was in the garage most of the time. And it was just, I decided not to even stress with it anymore. Um, and it was, I was getting around by bike and bus and train in Chicago anyway. And it was just too easy not to own a car and too much hassle to own a car. What are the benefits of riding bicycle for the past eight years? Uh, well, economics for sure. So not owning a car. <laughs> um, I estimate I've saved probably twenty-five to forty thousand dollars. Wow! Over the years. Yeah, car ownership's expensive. Not just the car itself, but gas, licensing, parking, um, any parking tickets, which I never have to deal with. Um, so exercise benefits, fresh air. Um, I work in the south side of the city, and I live in Corn Hill. So a lot of times my commute is on the Genesee River Trail, which is just beautiful. You know, after a long day at work, the relaxing green fresh air ride is just, it's a great way to de-stress. So each day, how many miles do you ride, uh, ride your bike? Um, back and forth to work, it's about three, three and a half miles, depending on the route. It's not a lot. Over a year, I'll put in probably about a thousand miles. Oh, the, the Thomas Road. But it's, Rochester's a pretty small city, so it's really easy to get around, and you don't put as many miles as you think. So someone might ask, if you want to travel outside Rochester, what do you do? I, um, I get on a, I'll get on the train, Amtrak, you can put your bike on the train for I think 20 bucks each way. And so I go visit my family in Chicago and put my bike on the train and then just ride from there. And it's perfect. What has been the health benefit since you started riding the bike? So health, um, it's a much better mental health. So like the green ride on the way home where I can relax more. And I get exercise and it's fresh air. The actual worst part about bike commuting health-wise is the fumes that I breathe from all the drivers it's not worth and all their cars. What would you tell people who owns a car? You know what, you could do this. It takes a little practice. Uh, it's not, it's not um, intuitive necessarily. But there's some great bike facilities, like the bike lanes here. Um, there are bike lights now coming around the city, so actual stoplights that are aimed at the bicyclists and not just at cars. Um, but it is possible. And if you're not sure what you're doing, um, find a friend who can ride with you. Uh, we've got an event coming up for women called the Rochester Women's Bike Festival. And that's June 15th at the Adams Street Rec Center in Cornhill. And that's a free event. Um, we're gonna show women how to to bike for regular transportation, not just for recreation. And it's a free event. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of talks, and there'll be a RTS bus you can practice putting your bike on and off. Um, there'll be bikes to practice with, and it's free. And what is your position in the upcoming event? I am one of the organizers of the Rochester Women's Bike Fest. This is our second year doing it. Um, and so there's a group of now 10 women on our committee who are just wonderful, amazing amazing, energetic women who love to bicycle. What is the goal for this event? The goal is to get more women on bikes in general. Uh, the more women who bike in a community at all, it's, much, it's a much safer community. If you see women out and about in the neighborhood, then you know that it's a safe community. And the more women on bikes, the fewer people in cars. 